Hey Astro Kids and welcome back and in today's video we will be going over your August 2021 horoscope. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. So on the screen here I have the transits of August 2021. And as you can see here, we will start off on the 1st of August with the moon position here in the sign of Aries. And we'll talk more about the moon as we move along. We will see a new moon coming up on the 8th of August here in the sign of Cancer. And we will also see a full moon coming up on the 21st of August falling in the sign of Aquarius. Now, along with that, we are continuing to see this transit of Rahu in Taurus. Of course, we won't see that come to a close until 2022. This is a huge karmic focus centered around our security, centered around our comfort, our values, with Rahu pushing us towards this Taurus energy. On the opposite side of that, of course, we see K2 in Scorpio, where there's a lot of internal transformation, a lot of spiritual cleansing and work to do there. And we talked a lot about that with that lunar eclipse that took place in May. We are leading up to another eclipse season, of course, as we are bringing things to a close, moving closer to the month of November. Now, also, we will start off this month of August with Mercury and the Sun positioned there in the sign of Cancer. These both will push forward into the sign of Leo here in the month of August. We'll talk more about that coming up. Of course, the Sun moving into Leo is a huge factor as the Sun feels most at home in the sign of Leo. This is a big shift moving us into a direction of taking charge of our soul's destiny, of our purpose. We will also see this month starting off with Mars and Venus together in the sign of Leo. Now we will see Venus push forward into Virgo, and this will be very important as we do find Venus in its position of debilitation as it starts to shift here into the sign of Virgo. So we'll talk more about that moving forward. Venus, of course, being all about beauty, peace, harmony, love. And as it comes into the sign of Virgo, it has to face the harshness, the reality of life. And so there's a lot of energy that is shifting and changing as Venus comes into this zone of debilitation. Now, we will also see Saturn that is taking place here in Capricorn. And for those of you who follow those extra planets, we will also see Pluto that'll be here in the sign of Capricorn as well. And so there's a lot of focus that is happening on reality, on our responsibilities, our duties, our routine, especially as Saturn is in its own sign of Capricorn. And it is in this retrograde where there's a lot of deep work to go through here as far as looking over our responsibilities, looking over our routine, the things that we are working towards within our lives. Jupiter is also going to be positioned here in Aquarius, and we will eventually see Jupiter shift back into Capricorn before it comes direct. So we'll talk more about that as we are moving forward. Jupiter here in the sign of Aquarius, of course, is a huge focus towards our goals, towards our ambitions, towards what we are headed towards in life. Neptune also there, big in terms of our dreams and our visions. We'll talk more about that moving forward. And along with that, once again, for those of you who are following those three extra planets, we do see Uranus that is positioned there in Aries, where there's a lot of this combustible energy, a lot of chaotic changes that are taking place. And so we will discuss more about these positions and how they will affect your moon or ascendant sign here in the month of August. For Taurus moon or ascendant, we will be starting off this month of August here with the Mercury shifting into your fourth house, Mercury being your second and fifth house ruler. 
And so there's a huge focus that is on the home and taking care of your responsibilities during this month. There's a huge focus on routine, and you may find that you are more detail-oriented, more able to manage things within your environment and your daily routine. With this second house activation, you may have a lot of responsibilities that are put on you, and you can find yourself being more hardworking and paying closer attention to those details analyzing, observing. This gives a lot of practical skills that are going on during this month. That fifth house also doing with your rituals and your spiritual routines as well. And so this can be a big time to focus on any sort of religion or spiritual practices more heavily during this month. You can also see an influence for those of you who have children with that fifth house activation paying closer attention to the children and making sure that everything is in order here. So huge focus that is going on. This may be a time that is centered around children going back to school, paying close attention to all of those details and making sure that everything is properly organized. We also will see Venus shifting into your fifth house, Venus being your first and sixth house ruler. And so this is a big time where this Venus can be very romantic, but mostly we see a focus that is on you and your health. Making sure once again that all of your routines are in order, this can be a big time of focusing on your health and maintenance, making sure that you are following all of those habits and rituals within your life that are promoting good health. This can also be a time of looking at a checkup. Venus there, remembering that Venus is a planet that can on the negative side swing towards overindulgence and we have Venus in this debilitation here in your fifth house where it can cause some potential difficulties also with Venus controlling that sixth house it's coming in as a neutral planet affecting the health and all of these areas where there can be conflicts and difficulties and this can also be a great time of once again focusing on details getting everything in order and even any sort of business negotiations venus controlling that sixth house is making it a great indicator of dealing with responsibilities being more practical being able to focus on the details and to make things happen in a very positive way so this is especially a time where you want to focus on your job on your health on all of your daily rituals and habits even with the sun which is shifting here into your fourth house it will be your fourth house ruler so you may have some work done in the home there may be more focus and emphasis on your responsibilities within the home at this time this is a big time of really focusing on your organizational skills making sure that everything is clean and healthy and in the proper shape even on a mental level focusing on your self-health making sure that everything is in order anything that is stressful that is difficulty this is a great time to take a deep breath to do practices that promote health so this has been your horoscope for taurus moon or taurus ascendant i hope you all enjoyed this if you like this video feel free to leave a like as well as a comment if you are new to this channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button along with the notification bell if you are interested in learning more on vedic astrology there is a course available that is both in the facebook group and here on youtube through channel memberships i will leave the link for that down below in the description along with the comments and above and if you are interested in joining that channel membership that comes with perks go ahead and hit the join button down below i will also leave a video with the description of what that channel memberships will entail and how that works i want to thank you all so much for joining once again i hope you all have a great day and i will see you in the next video
for Taurus, Moon, Taurus, Ascendant, we have quite a few cards that popped out here for the month of August. We have K2. This is a major time of freeing yourself from distractions and focusing on the truth. This is also a great time to focus on your past. We talked about how that second house is being activated. So focusing on your family, your traditions, your upbringing can give you great discipline to move throughout your life at this time. This is also a great time to tap into your skills and natural talents. Rohini is our next card here. Once again, focusing on those creative skills and talents, using your charm and negotiation skills also. Once again, with that sixth house activation of Venus, this is a great time for any sort of business deals. And the sun here taking great responsibility and focusing on your daily routine. This is a great time for leadership and for organizational skills. Chitra is our last card that comes up for you. And this is a great time to once again, focus on those talents and skills, not to get distracted by the beautiful surface level things within your life, but to focus on the real beauty, which is your talents, your gifts, your skills, your purpose in life. So this is a big time of moving towards your goals and being responsible.